Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim coming to you from Pretoria, South Africa. Uh, Monday, I will be flying to Cape Town and ministering in that area and that region. It has been fantastic what God ordained in October that I was sharing. The Lord called me. I didn't know how. You guys know I'm not compliant. And praise God, I have not had an issue. Keep praying for me. The gospel is being preached. People's faith is being increased. I have been able to minister alongside some amazing men and women of God. These folks are taking great care of me. And uh, I have fallen in love with the people of South Africa. One thing that I want to point out clear to everyone is that, and then I'll get to the gospel, is that we are clearly in the final moments of the end of days. I'm telling you, there are some bold folks here in South Africa and all over the continent of Africa and all over the world who are being truly woke to the truth of God's word. And the fact that we are being duped as a society at large by the deep state global shadow government, the antichrist system rising, the beast system, the new world order. These folks, God has a remnant. I'm telling you, it's, it's so encouraging. I am encouraged and I want you to be encouraged. I am meeting mighty men and women of God who are bold in the season, in their message and in their faith. They're rising up even at the risk of imprisonment and death. They're doing it. God has called out a remnant in this season. So whatever part you play, meaning you may be a prayer, you may be a supporter, however it is, I want you to be encouraged. I'm seeing it through the lens of now being able to travel. Even when I was in London for the day, uh, witnessing and people got saved and then meeting some believers who feel the same way. They know we are in the fight. We have brothers and sisters on this channel family from South Africa. I love you. We have brothers and sisters from London. I love you. I love all of you. And, and I want you to know that we are clearly in the final moments, moments of the end of days. I don't know when, but we know we are in the season of the return of the bridegroom for the bride. That should give us an urgency to boldly share the gospel, be, be active, in our faith. We're not saved by that. I'm going to get to that. We're not kept saved by it. But praise God, he ordained before the foundation of the world that we would live and breathe and have our being and while sobering this most exciting time in church history. I have people uh, comment to me and give me, Pastor Tim, why are you even doing this? If Jesus is coming, why? That's why I'm doing this. Because until he does, we occupy and redeem the time. Praise God. Today, my message is going to be on how to be a giant slayer, taken from uh, 1 Samuel chapter 17, I believe it is, and, and I don't have time to go into it now. Maybe later today, I'll have a chance to give you some of the points that I share as the Lord is leading me today in the message that I'll bring, so continue praying for me. As we look at the world around us, we are seeing it. And the same evil, wicked agendas that are happening in the United States of America, men and women of God are battling in prayer. And God is raising up that remnant. Now, listen, as long as we are here, we're the restrainers because we are the temples of Holy Spirit. And so while we're eager for the bridegroom to come get us, and our bridegroom is eager to come get his bride, praise God, the enemy, Hasatan, the accuser of the brethren himself. Satan wants us out of here. We're in the way. And we're supposed to be in the way. We're supposed to be the light in this darkened world. And it is time for the body of Christ, the ecclesia. Her amazing woman of God, Dr. Pearl Cooper, last night. The very same things I've been sharing on this channel and in my church about the ecclesia. We call it the church. I like the word as Dr. Billy Brim says, assembly better. That means we are the militant legislative arm, his body on the earth right now. We are seated in the heavenlies in Christ Jesus, 
and we are to rule and reign. Praise God. So uh, taking authority, right? Christ is our head, we're the body. Therefore, all power, dominion, rule, and authority is under his feet. Praise God. Praise God. We need to be doing this. And so um, if you're watching and you don't know what I mean by being born again, there is only one way that you can be certain that you are heaven bound and rapture ready. We believe in the eternally self-existent God in the persons of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. We believe that God, the Son, the Son of God, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Messiah, left glory, laid down his glory, was born of a virgin, wrapped in flesh, lived a perfect life, never sinned, and shed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary to pay the sin debt, our, the ransom price for our sin, once and for all, past, present, and future sins. He died, was buried, and on the third day rose from the dead. Praise God. And the nanosecond, the instant, the raptosecond, the zeptosecond, you believe on him, boom, you're born again. Safe, sealed, and sanctified until the day of redemption. Heaven bound and rapture ready. And you are indwelt with Holy Spirit. That's it. Done deal. Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of ourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, lest any man should boast. Oh, I want you to know that God loves you fiercely and passionately. I love you too. If you have not believed on the Lord Jesus, please believe today. Again, thank you for everyone praying for me. I still, next week, again, I'm, I'm ministering every day. Praise God. This is what the Lord has called me here to do. Um, I There is a... I, I put it up on the community wall. There is a dear sister. Her position in South Africa, in Johannesburg, would be very similar to like my state governor's speaker of the house or your, for those in the United States or in other areas in your province, your chair of chairs or your speaker of the house, Colleen Machabelli. Um, What an amazing, wonderful, young sister in Christ she is. I had the opportunity. Uh, she came to the event. We had government leaders there, praise God. And, um, and this amazing woman of God has a very high position in Johannesburg. And I'm telling you, as she asked me to pray for her, I just, I have the feeling, and I hope she doesn't mind me saying this, I have the feeling that I prayed over the future president of South Africa. I mean, it, the, the feeling of that. Should the Lord tarry? We, but right now, God is using her. She is a born-again, spirit-filled, mighty woman of God, humble and, and cares. You, she exemplifies the love of Christ. And I had the opportunity to have lunch with her. What an amazing time of fellowship and uh so, dear sister, if you're watching, I'm going to be, we're going to stay in contact and, and via um, technology, I'll be able to speak to some groups for her. And I'm, I'm so happy to do that. I am praying for her. I, I asked on, on my Facebook and Twitter, I, I asked people to start praying for her because I'm telling you, as I pray for her, you guys know when the Holy Spirit gives you something, God is using her now and is going to use her. Um, and God is using you now. And, and even for those of you who feel like you're the least of them or you can't know, if you're part of this channel family and you pray, that is so important. For those who reach out and make comments to others who need encouragement, that's important to my, the moderators. To, I, I can't say all your names right now. To all of you, I love you. Uh, to Sister Kathy and James and Steph, who, who take the calls, and Sister Kathy sending out the exemption letters and, and left behind letters. This is all important. See, we're all in this together. Everyone who gives, I, I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. It, it's, it's amazing what God is doing. And we all are in this together. And we give God the glory. I'm telling you, we're touching the nation, the nations. For Jesus, the gospel is being propagated. People are being are, are born again. They're being saved, justified by faith, and um, and their faith enhanced. Praise God. 
So I just want you to know how much I love you. I appreciate you. I know I haven't been on a lot. I'm seven hours ahead of Central Standard Time right now. It's Saturday and I'm getting ready to leave to go preach. But I want you to know how much I love you, how much I appreciate you. And I want you to be encouraged. What I'm seeing while things are getting darker in the world and they're not falling apart, they are falling into place. I firmly believe, you know, what the world needs is an awakening to God. An awakening can happen in an instant. Do you realize major things happen with God in the twinkling of an eye? So may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May his countenance be lifted on you and his shalom, his peace, perfect, whole, complete, nothing lacking, nothing missing, be yours in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, in the name of Jesus Messiah, I pray and I bless you. Amen. God bless you guys. Remember, greater is he who's in you than he who's in the world. And the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead abides in you. Shalom, shalom.